Hi and welcome to Heat Software's short video series on endpoint security. I'm Rob Kelsall and I'm joined by my colleague Rene Gonzalez. And in this session, we're going to be covering further information on patch management. So, when we're looking at remediation of patches, Rene, customers often don't just want to push that content out immediately to all systems. They, they need to have more granularity than that. They want to know which patches are going out to which systems, at what time, and what impact that might have on any end user running that system. Could you maybe start off by showing us some of the deployment options that we have that we can offer when, when we're setting up remediation? Absolutely. So the first thing that I'm going to do is separate my computers based on geography, uh, workload, process. Um, in this particular example, I've separated my computers based on Windows desktops and then Windows servers. So for my Windows desktops, I'm asking the product to show me all the missing updates that have been detected for my Windows desktops. They include both Microsoft and popular third-party applications that do have business legitimacy running on your Windows environment. So I'm going to select these updates and launch the deployment wizard. Now the deployment wizard does have some unique capabilities that's designed to save you time. One of those unique capabilities is that we automatically select machines that are applicable to that vulnerability and that are missing that vulnerability. I see some of those systems are off offline there, Rene. If we set up a job and, and that system's not available to have the patch pushed to it, how, how do we handle that? So because we're agent based, if the end user has the machine turned off or is on vacation, we still scan the machine and identify missing security updates and you can still deploy those missing security updates once the machine is turned back on. So next what I'm going to do is talk about scheduling the date and time. Here is where IT can define what time of the day or what day of the week when these updates should complete. So when you're managing servers, part of the challenge is to minimize the disruption to the business. So IT needs to make arrangements with the business as far as coming up with maintenance windows. With our technology, you can schedule these missing updates so they coincide with your maintenance windows. In this particular demonstration, my next maintenance window is going to be Saturday at 1 o'clock in the morning. Now how about if an administrator was to go in there and say, I want to actually patch these servers on Wednesday. Is there any kind of override feature to prevent that from happening? Absolutely. So once you commit the deployment and you change your mind, you can always go back to the deployment and modify that deployment. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to do is, and this is another key benefit we're over here, uh, here, is we automatically schedule these updates to install in the appropriate order that automatically minimizes the number of restarts for the changes that take, uh, for the changes that take effect. Um, so what, what we've seen from our customer and some of the complaints that we heard is the infamous install, reboot, install, reboot, install, reboot, install, reboot. Uh, Microsoft resolved that problem with introducing chaining so you can chain your updates together. We've extended that technology to include third-party updates. And we've identified all the third-party updates, both Microsoft and popular third-party updates that are chainable. So the system is going to automatically schedule these updates and approximately it's going to schedule 205 missing security updates from my Windows desktop group and only require a single restart for the changes to take effect. This includes both Microsoft and third-party updates as well. So what that does to our customers is, once again, minimizes the disruption in the business, but most importantly, minimizes the disruption and the distraction to the end users. So let's talk about end users real quick. So here in our deployment notification, our recommendation is to notify the end user that the software is out of date. If they happen to be working during your maintenance window, workaholics as an example, and they're working Saturday 1 o'clock in the morning, the recommendation is to notify the user that their machine is out of date and you can customize this message box as well. But all the end user has to do is when they're done working for the day or working for the night, save their work and log off the PC. The agent is intelligent enough to detect if nobody is logged in, I'm going to apply these updates immediately. Okay, And there's some flexibility. One of those flexibility options is to allow the end user to cancel the installation of a patch 
But our recommendation is to never allow the end user to cancel the installation of a patch because they'll always cancel and these updates will never be installed. Instead, the recommendation is to leverage your calendar control. And as an example, I'm going to give my users up to one week to save their work and log off. And this includes computers that are connected via the intranet inside the corporate firewall and the internet. So think about your mobile employees. When they're done working for the day, all they have to do is log off the computer. So now what I'm going to do is just review my mitigation strategy. These updates are going to go out on this time of the day, this day of the week. Anybody who happens to be working that day, we're going to notify them that the software is out of date. The message box will say, when you're done working, save your work and log off. A reboot is required for the changes to take effect. 205 security updates are going to get installed to 13 machines that require them. And we're intelligent enough to know and identify, well, we're not going to deploy 205 updates to all 13 machines. Here's a breakdown of the number of computers that require each individual update. So once you're happy with the schedule, you're going to commit to the schedule by clicking the Finish button. OK. Well, thanks for showing the deployment options, Rene. And thanks for joining us on this patch management session. We'll look forward to seeing you on the next one.